Trời ơi, nóng quá So hot Hey guys, I hope you are all well. So, I haven't done these type of videos in a while. It is September now. It is so hot in Orange County, in LA. We're just going through a heat wave right now and I was really hoping it would stop by now, but it's not, so excuse the attire. This is the only t-shirt <laughs> that I have available. Somebody actually asked me if this was easy today and I was like, nah bro, it's bootleg. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with my favorites since I haven't done these in a while. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit out of order. Okay, so first off, I wanna mention this foundation and it is the Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Vanishing Stick, but it is the infamous stick foundation that they came out with, I believe, last year. So I really like this because it's lightweight and you can kind of build it up to more of a medium coverage. This has made the process a lot easier for me to get ready whenever I need to be out somewhere super quick. I'm actually wearing it right now. This also does a really good job of cutting that step out of my foundation routine where I can just use a couple of more layers under the eyes and it'll basically just cover it up. So I know that they have a brush that they recommend to use with this, but truly it is really expensive. So I actually ended out opting for the Sigma Angled Kabuki brush. Now I absolutely love this brush just because it is one really multifunctional and it applies this type of foundation very well. I find that with a normal dense kabuki brush it kind of just it almost soaks up the product and it just kind of smears it all over my face whereas this it really ends up buffing it into the skin and I think that's because it's dense but it's not too dense so it has a little bit of flexibility to it where you can really just take your time not take your time because it's pretty quick but you can really just buff this quickly into the skin and just be done with it and not really have to worry about streak marks so this has been a really awesome combo with this foundation another thing I really like using this for is another favorites of mine this month or these past couple of months. It is the Glossier Cloud Paints. So quite frankly, I didn't really understand the hype in the beginning. And then, oh, my voice is cracking. <clears throat> I was like, I was like, the first time I used it, I was like, you know, it's no big deal. It's gonna be whatever. But surprisingly, I loved it since the start. It gives you like a very natural finish. Yet again, it's also very buildable. So I like using it particularly with this brush just because it gives me a lot more precision on my cheeks. And I'm really able to target the areas that I want this to focus on. Now, if you do use it with a brush, you do have to use a little bit more than you normally would if you decide to apply these with your fingers, just because the brush does soak it up. But again, I do prefer it for the precision. And I am currently using Beam and... Oh, that's not Beam. Beam and, and Dusk on my cheeks today. I typically like mixing Dusk and Puff together. Because I am of a lighter complexion, this actually kind of works for a bronzer slash blush and this just kind of layers it on top to kind of give the blush a little bit more dimension. Again, jumping all over the place. Um, off to more foundation. So the next foundation is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Glow. Pro Glow foundation. But honestly, this has become one of my favorite foundations. Just be aware that this does tend to oxidize a little bit red, or at least on my skin. So I didn't like it initially, but I really loved the formula so much to the point where I just kind of kept wearing it anyway. And it actually doesn't look that bad from far away. It's only if you're really examining my face, you can kind of see the pink undertones to it, but otherwise it's not too, too bad. Um, but I really enjoy this foundation just because it's very lightweight. It's liquidy. So it's very lightweight. I like to apply this with a beauty blender and I don't know, it just gives like a very nice, again, light to medium coverage depending how much you want to build it up. And because it is liquid, I feel like it's a little bit more flexible on the skin and I don't feel like I have anything on. And even though it says pro glow and I have dry skin, this kind of gives me more of a, not matte, what, what's the other one? More of like a satin finish to my skin, more so than pro glow. So I think even if you have oily skin, you may be able to pull this off because it's actually not that glowy. So I really enjoy this, especially for daytime wear. I think I went to Vegas a month-ish ago or something and I got pushed into a pool and surprisingly, this stayed on. So this is also pretty good waterproof makeup if you are expecting to sweat throughout the day and you just want your foundation to stay on. 
This is thebomb.com. I do have a tendency to choose foundations that are a little bit darker than my skin tone just because in my mind I'm like, oh, I'm a golden goddess. And then in reality, I'm... I'm not. One thing that has, has actually really come in handy is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. So this was actually given to me by my friend Andrew. He works in packaging for makeup companies up in New York and we randomly saw each other um, I think about a month ago and he just literally whipped one of this out and gave it to me because this is the packaging that he worked on specifically so it's kind of pretty cool to know like the behind the scenes process of it. I think they have a different bottle on the shelves right now but this is their older version. I tend to go for foundations that are a little bit darker than my skin tone so this honestly has become a lifesaver for me. I'll just mix about one drop of this to two to three drops of this and it'll mix in perfectly and it ends up becoming my shade. Oh, one thing is if you do end up mixing this with concealer, just be aware it's not going to be as a thick of a consistency um, as it was initially, just because I think that whatever is in here tends to kind of break that down with its own oils. So just be careful if you're using it with concealer and expecting it to come out the same. It's not, it's going to be a lot more thin. Maybe get a tester in Sephora just to kind of see if this type is compatible for you. But overall, I would definitely really recommend this for dry skin since that's what I have. Um, especially if you're a type of person to maybe um, change skin colors a lot just because of tanning, seasonal, or just people who cannot find their foundation shade. Ooh, okay, so last off in this is actually the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I was actually really excited whenever they announced they're coming out with loose powders just because Laura Mercier, you are expensive. I think it's a really good dupe for the Laura Mercier one, although even though the price tag is quite high, I do have a preference over that, so I only wear the Laura Mercier one if it's kind of like a special occasion. But despite that, like the feel of it, this is a really, really good dupe. Overall, this does whatever it needs to do. It lessens the shine on your face. It sets uh, the concealer. And yeah, I really enjoy this. And this is something I would definitely repurchase. And that pretty much wraps everything up. Um, that was a lot easier than I expected it to be because I haven't done kind of like a proper sit down video in a while. I do have a secret giveaway if you made it to the end of this video. Let me open the package. The first thing is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Beam, just because I saw this as a fan favorite. I think this would look really, really nice with people who have fair skin tones all the way to people who have deep skin tones. So I think this is a very universal color if you just want to make your... I don't know, you just want to make yourself a little bit more cute, you know? The second thing I have is an Ulta gift card for $15 just because I tried out a couple of drugstore items and hopefully you'll pick this up too. If not, then that's totally up to your discretion. Girl, I would buy whatever I want as well. But yeah, so it's just an Ulta gift card. It says laughter is the best cosmetic. I totally agree. I love this card so much. And that wraps up everything. So hopefully you've enjoyed it and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.